What's happening, golfers? Uh, welcome back to Bogus Birdies Golf Vlog. I'm Mike. If you're new, don't be new anymore. Hit that subscribe button. We are heading to another Mike Strands course. Todd Hill Farms. Farm. Singular. One farm. Yeah. Yeah, if you haven't seen uh, Tobacco Road, I don't know where it goes, uh, check up top for a link to that. Um, pretty similar, but not, I guess, I don't know, contradicting, but something like that. It's, uh, he messes with your eyes. He, you know, he forces you to kind of guess what's around the corner, what's what's over the hill, um, and you know you have to use you have to use a scorecard or a caddy to try to help you out. Um, but yeah, enough talk. Let's get to it. All right, Todd Hill Farm. I mean, it's listed as a Mike Strantz masterpiece, and I believe it was. You know, cut into the hills of Asheboro, North Carolina, I'm sure Mike Strantz had a ball designing this track. But I'm sure when he was done with it, he looked back and thought, hell yeah, this is great. Um, now, would he like it now? I'm not sure. I mean, I think he would still appreciate the design and what he put out there, but I don't know if he'd be happy with the current conditions. Coming out of winter and into spring, there are a lot of courses that have figured out how to get into better shape quicker. I wouldn't say Todd Hill Farm has quite figured that out. Now, talking to one of the other members, I do know they are going through some you know, management issues and ownership issues, and that can create some issues with course conditions. My only hope is they can figure it out soon. You can see from the video the fairways aren't lush green, the rough isn't a lush green. You know, the greens are in okay shape, but you hit a, a bomb down the fairway and you're expecting to have a, you know, a great lie and a great approach into the green. And, you know, you're kind of wedged in between some Kentucky bluegrass and crabgrass. And you can get around that, you know, just move your ball to a better spot on the fairway and, and hit your shot. You know, you didn't deserve the the weeds that were there so whatever get get past it you know, you're still getting decent decent roll on the greens and a fun design right i mean you can play lesser courses out there and when i say lesser i mean lesser quality uh lesser price lesser value and you'll probably have better fairways but it's just probably going to be an up and down track the you no know, elevation changes flat greens you know you're not really going to be challenged and one of the cool things about this is when you look at the rating and the slope, you know, the rating's not, not all that hard, 72.1 from the back, but it is a huge gap between that and the slope of 144. Now, what that tells me is good golfers that come out here shoot from the tips and shoot a 72. That's cool, that's good. Um, but inexperienced golfers don't know how to read the land, don't know how to read the scorecard don't know how to analyze and play a course correctly play up from the whites give yourself a fighting chance you know better golfers who have good course management and stuff like that you can play from the tips it's not a long track 65 43 from the back 56 32 from the forward white tees almost a thousand yard difference there and the slope the rating and the slope kind of show that moving up to the whites you're 67.7 and 124 slope rating. All right, wrapping up the course video here, you can kind of see the conditions you you had to deal with. I talked through the slope and the difficulty, but you know, overall, it is a ton of fun to play at this course. And you know, the staff was really nice. Uh, I didn't have any complaints there. They were very welcoming and and helpful. And even some of the members that I talked to on the course. Super chill, uh, no issues there either. Um, yeah, I just look forward to seeing them improve and really hope they do because I want to be a fan of this course. And uh, I'm sure I'll be back. All right, everybody, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think of this course. Uh, shoot me a message if you think I should check out another course. Um, but really, yeah, definitely want to know your thoughts on this one. I was, I don't know, it was Mike Strands. I was really excited. I played Tobacco Road. It was awesome. And, you know, I, I go out to this course and I'm thinking it's going to be sick. Um, I mean, it was. It was cool. It was a lot of fun. Just, I just wish 
the fairways didn't have weeds in them. You know, I wish, I wish I could get that cleaned up. I mean, I, I feel bad putting that out there, but um, maybe they need more revenue. Maybe they need more help from other golfers getting out there. But if they get that course cleaned up, I will be out there like probably like three, four times a year because um, the greens weren't in bad shape. You know, they were you know little winter wear on them, but nothing bad. Um, I don't know. I'll check them out later in the summer and see if it's improved. And uh, I don't know. We'll go from there. All right. Stay mediocre.